everybody, I'm LEGO Separator and welcome back to another LEGO video. Today, we are going to be looking at a set, set number 60013 from LEGO City and it's released in 2013. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, minifigures, we get four of them in this set, and the first one is just this generic uh, sailor over here, or rather diver, so he's got a wetsuit underneath this yellow jack uh, life jacket, or, or life save, or whatever they call them. It's just simple slip onto the neck, sort of yellow thing with sort of some strap details over there. Now looking over here, we actually get to see this guy's uh, wetsuit over here, so it's blue with a little little blue logo over there as well of a wave and all the necessary details some plain black legs plain black sleeves uh some darkish brown hair on the top of his head a simple face just like so and at the back oh look we also have a little silver zipper design as well our second minifigure also has a life jacket, a uh, more Coast Guard specific sort of person. So this one ha is a female with a blue hat and some ear protectors over here. So these just um, uh, are stuck into the hat with this little uh, little pin uh, at the top of the uh, headset. Yes, that's right, which fits into this blue cap over here, which we can also take off. We could also take off this life jacket, which is also the same as last one. And in her hand, uh, she's holding this little handheld uh, black radio. Now, moving on to the minifigure itself, we've got some plain blue legs, and the top is grey with some grey sleeves. We've got a sort of bronze colour badge over there with a little, with a little life ring. Uh, emblem. We've got some pockets on the front, a buttoned up shirt, and a bronze colored buckle for the belt with some blue straps there as well. A general female face. Looking like around the back, we also have, have the continuation of the belt. And also, these, um, these little pads that they have. These little pads that they have on their shoulders to show what rank they are. I'm not really sure what they're called. Now our third minifigure is a helicopter pilot in this set. He also has a similar suit to the diver, which is the fourth minifigure. Uh, but we'll get to him in just a bit. This one is a helicopter pilot though, with a white helmet with a black tainted visor, just like that. I can take that off. To have a closer look at this suit over here. So first of all, we've got these legs over here, which have grey... Uh, grey hips and orange uh, leg pieces. Uh, his torso is orange, with some orange sleeves and some grey gloves as well. And the print on front of his torso um, is very padded, has, has a lot of sort of life uh, saving specific things. So it's got a yellow badge over here on these, on this sort of red and yellow, yellow overthrow to the jacket. We've got uh, some grey and silver buckles as well on the front there, and it's zipped up nicely as well. His face is um, slanted eyebrows and a smile, and looking around to the back over here, we also have a continuation of those straps, and it seems like a big giant buckle at the back in a sort of five-pointed star. And finally, the uh, last but not least minifigure in this set has Definitely the most accessories. So he's got the same suit as our previous uh, helicopter pilot, but this one is the recruit that saves people because he's got this diving helmet instead of a helicopter pilot helmet. So first of all, it's the same white helmet, but with this blue piece on the top, which hinges upwards and downwards, a sort of snorkel piece over there. Right, round his neck as well, he has this um, breathing tank, sort of like uh, one cylinder at the back with this hose going around to... Um, his mouth that also slips off just easily like that to have a closer look uh, well the torso and the legs are the same as our previous uh, minifigure just now his face is different though he's got some brown eyebrows some little uh, and some beard design as well uh, moving around to the back same as before with the with a sort of strange buckle at the back there and we've got these orange flippers as well for him which just clip to the underside of his legs just like so and there's one more character in this set and that is this white shark over here so unlike the other lego sharks this one is done white it's sort of like um large large modeled shark 
And what can I say, with an opening, with the opening jaws, some gill detail on the side, some little eyes set into the jaw piece as well. And I'm getting, jeez! Shoo! Shoo! And also, the rear end of his fin is styled as a Shoo! So the main part of this set is this Coast Guard helicopter over here. I had to move over to this desk because um, the previous one's a little bit too small. After all, this is 30 centimeters long and I suppose the, the blades are as well. So first of all, this helicopter has this large six blade rotor on the top, which we can take just up uh, to the side for a moment to have a closer look at the full color scheme of this helicopter. So first of all, it's got main base color of white with some blue and uh, accents and uh, some orange underneath here. So first up, the cockpit is one piece that opens up just like this. It has some decoration on the top of it as well to match up this with this dark gray on the top of the helicopter. That also has a sticker on the front of it. Um, Sort of like the Coast Guard logo, the Lifeguard Coast Guard logo with uh, some orange and blue over there. And looking on the inside of the cockpit, we have a little printed uh, roof tile over here, and two of these little red, two of these little red levers that hopefully don't fall off when you touch them. And we have one little seat in there. Also, this cockpit has these stickers here on the sides as well, little blue stripes, which join up with these brick-built stripes over here. And we also have some guide lights, one done in red over here, and another green as well. Also, we have these panel pieces, which have some decoration on them. So on this side, we have... Uh, lock one, a small panel saying lock one, and on the other side we have another panel saying lock two. Now the main feature of this helicopter is this retracting rope string sort of thing, which pulling it out and will lock it into position and then we can just pull it out even more and even more and even more it reaches quite a long distance and then there's this button over here on the side made out of a Technic hole over here, Technic cross axle hole we just push that and it's a little wind up mechanism that just folds the line back in which has a standard grey hook over here and this black sort of Technic specific piece for the arm. Now going over onto the other side we also have this dark grey piece over here as well so if your preferences are more oh I'm gonna be doing it on this left side instead then it can always be placed there. Now in the center over here we have this place where we can put some minifigures hanging out and looking over uh, what's going on. We also have the, the wind up area over there. And on the sides we have these floats and these are done in orange, blue and white. These sort of uh, helicopter style floats which can be used to, uh, you know, pretend that it's landing on water. It's got some wheels underneath. It can't actually float, but it gives us a nice idea. Also, speaking of wheels, this uh, helicopter has two wheels over here with some uh, white rims, and we have this little moving section of these wheels as well with a little white stud there for a light. We have uh, some small windows set off to the side as well. On this side we have the button. On the other side we just have some of these windows and some plain white. And it's also here that we have some extra sticker detail. Now, the ones on this piece are missing. They've gone, yes, vanished. Um, one of the LEGO City crooks stole it. So normally we have a sticker over here on this roof tile of course, and there should be guard over here. And moving over to the other side, we have uh, guard. But you can pretend there's a co sticker there as well. Speaking of stickers as well, we have this rear end of the of the helicopter, which is made out of this one big sort of hull piece, or this both specific piece and it has some sticker large stickers on the back accented in blue and white we have 60013 which is the name of this set and that is copied on the other side as well now up onto the roof of the helicopter we have uh, a lot of engine specific pieces so first of all at the front we have this slow piece in dark gray then we have this little turbo induct as well this air induct we have this top section over here of course that which turns the rotors uh, we also have these sort of air inlets as well these sort of turbine pieces uh, with stickers on them this one over here says 
caution with a sort of arrow pointing this way in orange and blue and this little this little screwed up inlet and on the other turbine we have the same caution with another arrow however we have a little little power uh, indication piece what a little power indication sign and moving over here we also have these black engine specific pieces as well as long as some gray slopes uh, leading off to the rear tail. Now as for the tail, it's also accented in blue and white using some base plates. We have a little guide wing over here with a red positioning light. Uh, yes, that is a red positioning light, even though it's on the other side. And we have this large tail fin as well with some more stickers, the, the Coast Guard logo, orange, white and blue. And on the other side of that, um, other side of the tail we have this larger sort of three uh, blade rotor which is just spinning freely like this it's spinning 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 so going back over the dimensions of this helicopter once we put the this 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 rotor back onto here so first of all the these um, this rotor is 30 centimeters in diameter and the whole body fuselage of the helicopter is 30 centimeters long as well and it reaches about 12 centimeters at its widest point as well. Okay, and going back over the functionality of this string over here, we can get our little diver guy who's going to save some people and he can, well, uh, let, let's see if we can snap his hand over there. Oh yeah, he just holds onto the hook nicely. Then we can un unravel the line over to here and then all that we need to do is press the button and he <laughs> launches himself quickly out of danger. And now there is one last bit to this set, and that is this little sailboat over here. Well, actually, catamaran, or however you'd like to pronounce it. So this catamaran is made uh, with some white and red, made to be a sort of like a private little catamaran for our little little diver dude over here, or rather sailor, whatever. A little private one because it has a different color scheme to the actual Coast Guard helicopter, and it's got this sort of vinyl. Um, plasticky sort of sail over here uh, just, just slipped on to these uh, black bars over here and the main idea of this is that this can also fall down so you know uh, the sail fell down and then a little guy is just stranded in the middle of the ocean and as for attaching this this is a ball joint on the end of this bar, but it's attached with these clips just sort of sitting in between there. Also, we have these sort of uh, large, well, sorry, small helicopter blade pieces done in red for this top. We have some uh, sloping pieces underneath here as well. As you can see, as it is a catamaran, it has just two two little hulls over here and just a sort of bridge section over here as well and uh, moving around to the back we also have some more red slope pieces this little center section over here and this little flag piece to be a little rudder so we can take our guy and he can just sit over here and enjoy some sailing on his wonderful little catamaran but that's the end of our video, so I hope to show you more in the future. I hope this inspired you, and until next time, happy building!